A political game of chicken unfolding in Washington between President Trump and Nancy Pelosi, beginning with the House Speaker's request to put the whole State of the Union address on hold until after the government shutdown. Pelosi sending this note to the president, sadly, given the security concerns, and unless the government reopens this week, I suggest that we work together to determine another suitable date after government has reopened for this address or for you to consider delivering your State of the Union address in writing to Congress on January 29th. Now, the mainstream media praising Pelosi's quote-unquote power play. Speaker Pelosi playing hardball. She's playing hardball. Speaker Pelosi flexing her constitutional muscle. Nancy Pelosi flexing her muscles today. This bold power play by Speaker Pelosi. She's got a PhD in needling President Trump. This is a, a move of, ex of, of exceptional uh, cleverness and sadism in a way. I mean, this is political genius. She was showing that she's in charge. What a badass. <laughs> but a different story when the president did virtually the same thing. Mr. Trump pulling the plug on Pelosi's planned overseas trip using a government-funded military aircraft. He said no. The president writing, I am sure you would agree that postponing this public relations event is totally appropriate. It would be better if you were in Washington negotiating with me. If you would like to make your journey by flying commercial, that would certainly be your prerogative. Now, with the trip off, congressional lawmakers were left sitting on a bus which eventually returned to the Capitol. There's the luggage dropped off neatly. And here's how the media reacted to that. The president has responded uh, in sort of a childish way, is the only way to describe it, uh, to the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. This is a, a sort of a classic example of Trump kind of overreacting. What has Trump has done today, tactically inept, strategically nitwitted. The only phrase that comes to mind is, Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Nobody who's ever traveled with a congressional delegation would think that this is funny or appropriate or cool. Not cool. Here to respond, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. Sarah, welcome to Waters World. Thanks, Jesse. It's good to be with you. As always, the base is extremely pumped up about Trump's move with the plane. That's definitely gotten everybody excited. We now realize how intense this is. But now Nancy's team is saying that her safety was jeopardized because the White House leaked her travel plans. You care to respond to that? Look, that's outrageous. Nobody in this building is going to do anything to put the safety and security of any American, particularly those uh, in service like Speaker Pelosi, in any type of danger. Um, the idea that we leaked her commercial travel is absolutely absurd. And, and frankly, it's just dishonest. Um, yeah. And she any of these mainstream media folks that are praising the so-called power move by Nancy Pelosi, there's nothing powerful about the Speaker of the House questioning the ability of the United States Secret Service uh, who have said they have no problem protecting the president. Let's be real clear. The Secret Service protected the president when he was in Iraq. I'm pretty sure they can handle the job on Capitol Hill. I think, frankly, it is shameful uh, and unbecoming of the speaker to pull the action that she did uh, in regards to questioning the United States Secret Service. Now, where do we stand with the State of the Union, in your opinion? Is the president looking for other venues, a big rally, the Senate, or is he still planning on doing it in Congress. Look, we'll keep you posted on the details. What I can tell you is the president's going to continue to do uh, what he's done every day since talk, taking office and even before that, and that's communicating directly with the American people, whether it's through the State of the Union, whether it's through a rally, whether it's through taking questions from the press, whether it's through uh, speeches across the country, whether it's through Twitter and other means of social media. The president's going to continue to get his message out, and that message is we have to protect our country, well, we have to protect our borders, and Nancy Pelosi needs to get serious about working with the president to see that get done. Some of that message may be working in the latest NPR poll. The president's approval rating among Latino adults is up 19 points. And if you listen to the Democrats on tape, they seem to be cracking a little bit when it comes to calling the wall immoral and ineffective. Let's listen and you can respond. I don't think this is an issue of morality. It's an issue of uh, does it work? A uh, wall is, uh, that protects people is not immoral. Would you remove those existing barriers because you say they don't work? No. No. So they work there. So they work but some places. Whether he, obviously, they work some places. Do walls work? 
to barriers in certain were. in certain places I think so then we can talk about the best way forward on border security and if that's a wall then I'm open to that so Democrats I mean the leadership says one thing other leaders in the Democratic Party say another thing I don't know where they stand on walls and barriers do you <laughs> Uh, I don't. And that's partly because they refuse to sit down at the table and have the conversation with the president. Nancy Pelosi is too busy taking vacations in Hawaii. Her uh, team is going to Puerto Rico doing uh, cocktail parties and Broadway shows. They need to be sitting down at the table with the president. They need to figure out how to open the government and protect our borders. We've laid out a plan. It's time for them to sit down and negotiate and work out a deal so that we actually are solving problems, not just playing political games. It's clear that Democrats believe believe uh, that we need border security. You just played a number of them saying exactly that. We're hopeful that some of those people will uh, come to the table, work with the president and get this deal done, even if Nancy Pelosi won't. All right, Sarah, thank you very much.